oatmeal. When I say that word, what kind of associations do you have that have been fabricated into your psyche? For most, I would venture to say that they fall into one of two camps. One being that you've only ever had the cinnamon apple or brown sugar ready packs, and thus you probably think oatmeal is, eh, okay. Or two, you have only ever had plain rolled oats with nothing but water and were so disgusted by the atrocities that your taste buds had to endure that you promptly took all your rage out on your Brita filter. Okay, that's probably mild Tourette's, but the point here is that I've seldom encountered anyone to ever hype up oatmeal, and I want that to change. I'm going to show you today how to make possibly one of the most transcendent bowl of oats that you will ever eat, and I will, Billy Mays racks back a guarantee that you will become a devout oatmeal enthusiast like me. Okay, so first things first is to get your mise en place set, which for those of you uncultured individuals out there is French for GET YOUR SHIT TOGETHER! So to do that, we are going to start filling a measuring cup with one cup or 240 milliliters of a milk of your choice. I'm going with unsweetened vanilla almond milk because it's the fewest amount of calories. And one half cup or 120 milliliters of some dihydrogen monoxide. Pour that into a medium pot and put over a medium heat until it comes up to a boil. While we wait for that to boil, we can begin filling our bowl with all of our other ingredients to expedite the oatmeal into my face hold process. So first, fill a small bowl with 80 grams of old-fashioned rolled oats, and I'm using old-fashioned as opposed to steel cut or quick oats because I find them to have objectively the superior texture, but you know, hey man, to each their own. Put that aside, and now we can fill the finishing bowl with our actual flavoring ingredients, which includes 75 grams of a plain, non-fat Greek yogurt, 122 grams of pure pumpkin! 18 grams of white miso, 8 grams of a brown sugar, and lastly, one scoop of vanilla protein powder. And as I've mentioned before in my previous videos, if you don't have any protein powder, that's totally fine, dude. You can use a flavored Greek yogurt to amp up the protons. Uh, but, you know, for this recipe, I would also recommend tripling the brown sugar if you're going to go that route. Now, we're going to reserve that miso for later on in the recipe, and I'll explain why when we get there. But let's start off by explaining why I use pumpkin in this recipe. So first off, pumpkin has a subtle yet warm vegetal sweetness to it. It is low in calories given the fact that pumpkin is 94% water, and it is immensely high in beta carotene, a carotenoid that our body converts into vitamin A. Beta carotene and subsequently vitamin A act as antioxidants in our body to help stave off reactive oxygen species that are naturally formed from cellular respiration, i.e. You just sitting there and breathing, dog. As well as promoting eye, hair, and immune system health. So, in essence, alongside the unique taste it brings, it is a delicious way to incorporate more fruits and vegetables into your diet. And it's also an excuse to buy canned pumpkin outside of Thanksgiving. Now that all of our ingredients are prepped and our milk and water solution is boiling, it is time to add our 80 grams of oats. And alongside that, we're going to throw in one half teaspoon of vanilla extract and a healthy grating of about one and a quarter to one and a half teaspoons of both nutmeg and cinnamon. And finally, our white miso. So quickly going over what miso is and why we're putting it in this recipe is that miso adds not only umami to the dish, but also a distinct nuttiness that plays super well with the pumpkin, brown sugar, and peanut butter. Miso is a fermented food, meaning that it is fucking bomb and diggity for your gut microbes. Uh, it is created from inoculating soybeans with the bacteria Aspergillus urazae, otherwise referred to as koji. White miso is considered a sweet miso that has a higher proportion of koji to soybeans, as well as having a shor shorter fermentation time compared to that of a say darker red miso which would have a more pronounced earthiness and funk to it so for the purposes of this recipe it is going to provide a deep nutty umami flavor feed your gut bacteria and provide a nice saltiness which is why i 
am not adding any additional salt to the oats. So alongside that slight ramble on miso, we are going to add it to the pot of the oats itself while it's cooking because the heat from the boiling milk is going to help break down the paste evenly, dispersing it amongst the oats, as opposed to running the risk of getting a mouthful of miso if we were to mix it in with the other ingredients. So once everything's added, stir occasionally for about five to 10 minutes, and once your oats have thickened up nicely, take them off the heat and pour them into the bowl with your other ingredients. Then watch in childish amazement at how the oatmeal changes from a brown to a pastel orange, thanks to the pumpkin and Greek yogurt. Now, technically speaking, at this stage, you are done, but if you wanna take this recipe from good to orgasmic, add some nut butter. I'm flexing a little bit with my homemade almond and peanut butter mix. Or if you're trying to watch your fat intake, you can add PB2. Uh, for this, I recommend doing two and a half servings or 33 grams of PB2 added with 50 grams of water uh, to make an ideal creamy peanut butter consistency. And lastly, add another healthy shaving of fresh cinnamon on top. And there you go pumpkin miso oatmeal and now let's put this in our face hole all right let's sit in the old fucking fiend chair we got here the pumpkin miso oatmeal topped with homemade nut butter and cinnamon now i've been hyping this oatmeal up pretty much for the past like two months ish i forgot when i made the post about it on my instagram but this is by far like when I made the goat meal recipe, I did not even know that this existed. Y'all, this is the real goat meal right here. Let's give this a try. Oh my God. The thing about this oatmeal is that it's such a perfect balance of, you get like the saltiness from the miso that also has a little bit of umami and nutty flavor, which pairs immensely well with the pumpkin which is like, you know, a very subtle vegetal kind of flavor, but also very earthy and nutty itself, which also just adds a cool color. Mm. And the cinnamon, the nutmeg comes through really well. I do like the taste of my own nut butter. It tastes very, very good. However, I used to, like before I made, started making my own nut butter, I've had this oatmeal with, you know, regular peanut butter and stuff like that. It's still absolutely amazing. Okay, well, this channel is not a mukbang one, so I'm gonna go finish this in my kitchen. But I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. I would really appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video and subscribed for more uh, cooking and nutrition content. And if you have any ideas on what sort of videos you want to see in the future, in terms of you know what sort of recipes you would like to see made healthier, or you know have the food science explained a little bit more behind it, then you can drop them in the comments below, or you can just hit me up on Instagram at Liam underscore Kincaid. My DMs are more open than an escort's legs working in Vegas, so. Thank you all again for watching and I'll see you later.